Uh, yeah, on today's video, we're going to look at this Antop FM antenna for picking up radio stations. Um, so if you have a stereo in your house and you want an extra antenna to pick up those uh, radio stations, you can use this device, which is basically an indoor antenna for F specifically for FM radio. You probably would be able to pick up a few of your really close TV broadcasts with this as well, but this is more geared toward FM radio reception. So let's take a look at that right now. All right, this is the Antop BOW Amplified Indoor AM FM antenna. It has a it says it claims that it has a 50 mile range, works with FM, uh, receives AM FM signals, compatible with AV rec receivers. So, like if you have a stereo system with uh, the inputs for that, multi direction reception. Although sometimes I find with these multi directionals, if you move it the right way, you'll get better reception. Right, here's the back the box here for all the different uses of, of this you can always call their call them for uh, for their support so I'm gonna open this thing up here now this is a powered antenna antenna so it's amplified I know that much there we go there's a the things falling out of it let's see here all right I'll put that there so it's in the shot so it comes with uh, an F connector, a three wire thing here for uh, something. I'll have to read the manual, figure that out. Mm. Uh, it has a power supply, so there's an amplified antenna. Basically it's like a USB, <laughs> a USB to whatever this thing is. And the actual antenna itself. Kind of, you know what this kind of reminds me of is your rear view mirror in a car. <laughs> but there's no mirror on it. It's an antenna, but it looks like a rear view mirror. Maybe I don't know. If, I, I'm not saying you could use this in a car, but <laughs> there you go. That's kind of a nice finish to it. Right. Uh, so you plug the power in there. It has the, your FM. You connect this up. Uh, some FM radios. Potentially, you can pick up probably VHS, VHF, and some UHF. The stations are really close by for like TV, but it's this is the antenna's particularly designed for uh, radio. If you can see that, get a zoom in on that. It's very fine. You might want to take some wire cutters and cut that because this will go into. Sometimes the stereo will have like a a connector for these things. You plug it in. You pull, hold the tabs open. You can stick the antenna in. That's for the antenna, for the AM antenna. So this thing has AM and FM antenna uh, usage. Another thing you can do with the AM antenna is you can get one of these, uh, it doesn't come with it, but you can get one of these alligator clips and uh, you can get these online. They're like, you can get a whole bunch of them for like a few bucks or whatever. And uh, you can stick that on the antenna uh, if you're an AM radio listener. This thing here in the bag, it's for, not the uh, this adapter, but this adapter here, you may have an AM FM radio that has a plug like this. This is what you could just connect the wires up to that. There's a manual for that if you actually have a radio. I've actually never seen a radio like this, but uh, maybe some of the big stereos have them. Another thing is it has, if you're in Europe or in our part of the world, it has this kind of connector adapter. So the idea of this here is it will sit on the table. You can tuck your wires behind it and, you know, I mean, you could put a mirror on here. I don't know. Um, sorry, I'm thinking this is a rear view mirror. The way the shape the shape of it is not really a mount for it to put it anywhere but i actually had antennas where i just had them hit them on the floor and i still got my tv channels and the antenna was hidden it all depends on how close the stations are uh how close you are to the broadcasters uh this is definitely an indoor antenna it's not meant to be outside uh so this is kind of something that you would keep inside you're not going to put this up on a on a roof or anything like that. So here's what I've done. I set the antenna on the window, probably to, just to try to get the best reception. I have the wires. I know it's a mess here, uh, but I just uh, plugged it in to test it. So I got plugged into an extension cord. I tried the AM, and I got one of these alligator clips uh, for my SDR to plug it in that way. But I have to uh, switch around uh, to get that to work. So here's my radio. It's this USB doggle so this is what i'm using as my tuner i just got an adapter so that it goes into that now most people have most normal people have stereos i'm not a normal person i have one of these usb sdrs 
And I run it into GQRX under Linux, because I'm not a normal guy at all. And so anyway, as you can see, uh, the radio here, I got it working here in GQRX. I've tuned the, uh, the closest, most powerful FM station is the um, CBC radio. You can see right there, uh, I have the, what's it called there, the RDS information coming up. So it's pulling that digital information off of the radio there. I'm not going to play just for copyright reasons, but you can see on the spectrum that there is uh, radio stations available. And so it is working. Uh, guess what I'll do is I'll unplug the adapter. I'll just unplug this thing here. Just unplug that, and you can see since I unplugged the amplification, you know what? It's still working. I'm still seeing, you know, the waveforms uh, of this is talk radio too. So, but you can see that the noise and all that uh, turned uh, turned down. Now on GQRX, I have the LNA gain, you know, quite low. You can bring it a lot further up. This location is not the best location, but if you're in an apartment, this would be something you would make want to look for if you have an FM radio, had need for an FM radio antenna, and you just wanted to hear your local FM stations. Obviously here in a, in a basement, it's not going to be the best location if you can get it higher up in your house, or if you're up in a higher building. I do recommend putting it in the window, or near, close to a window. You might, you'll probably get better reception if you if you have it there, but it all depends on how powerful the station is that you're trying to get. So here it is. I'm just gonna take it away here. Here, so there's what it looks like. And if we can drag this over here, so I'm holding it in front of the in front of my radios right there. You can still see it's picking up stuff even though I took it off the window. I have unplugged it. It's still able to receive radio signal. So with uh, this program here, the software I'm using called GQRX, still pulling in a station inside without it optimally set. But this station, basically I can go at the front door of my house and I can see the tower um, for this FM radio station. To show that the signal quality is pretty good, I just put it back in the window. I'll go through some of the other stations. Now there was a few stations that I would be able to pick up in my car, but I always find here in this location is always a lot worse than anywhere anywhere else. On this thing here, you can change the frequencies. And here, I see another station, you'll always see a little blurp, blurp there. And when it's music, it'll look like that. It'll look very, I don't know, just loud. This is like a rock station. Do I have? Yeah. So there's the information there. It says K-Rock, program type, educational. Um, so it's pulling in the radio station pretty decently. I can mess around with the gain, bring it up a bit. I probably would turn the gain up on this uh, for the weaker stations. This, so this one's not, no problem. You should be able to get it with any FM radio with uh, with an antenna inside your house. Let me go through some of the frequencies here. He believes that he can win this war, or at least do enough damage to Ukraine and to Ukraine's infrastructure to bring Kiev to the table. 101.9. So it's a little bit of a weaker station, but I'm able to pull in uh, the radio with that. Uh, 101.5, I believe that's a a UBC station or, or K-Love, well, like a religious station, one of the two. Uh, it's coming in okay. Let's go wear some headphones so I'm not 95, 99.5 is a French radio station. I believe it's the French CBC. 98.9 is a music station. There you go, 96.6, .6, and I see like high school confidential, so it's printing out the information there. It's still saying K Rock, but it's not K Rock. This thing's gonna be like a little bit. And it caused my computer program to crash. Uh, so, what it does show me is um, 
it does work and it actually works without the power supply on so that's a good feature um, if you do, if it does happen to be unplugged and a lot of stations are so close to you for local stations you may not even need the uh, power on but it might help uh, for some of the weaker stations so I did try it with some AM radio and I wasn't successful to pick up anything but that's also because in my area there's not a whole lot of am radio stations that i can pick up in the location where i'm at but i can pick up them up in my car my car radio but i was however able to pick up at least one shortwave radio station even though it's not relative rel relevant to that type of antenna but i still was able to pick up 1385 on shortwave radio So my opinion of this is, um, if it's just specifically for your purpose, you're in an apartment and, or you have a se section of your house and you just want to ha uh, hook up to a stereo to hear some local uh, FM music stations or possibly some AM radio if you have the hookup for it, uh, you could look into this. But also, um, I guess my preference for an FM radio antenna is to actually hook it up to my rooftop TV antenna because I found doing that. I get a lot stations from a lot further away. But if you're not looking to do this setup, this might be something you might want to look more into. So thanks for watching and please give this video a like and share it with all your friends and uh, give us a subscribe. Just helps me out in the uh, video algorithm, whatever pl platform you're watching this thing on. Thank you very much. Have a great day. All right, now we are gonna do an unboxing video. Let's see what's in the box. Ah, it's a snake! Oh.